In some cases, Windows can install its own compatible driver, which will cause the device to work, but will lack some of the features that the manufacturers have included to enhance the device capabilities. In this video lesson, we shall be looking at Windows Vista and showing such an instance. Here we can see a newly Windows Vista installation that has not, as yet, had the motherboard drivers installed. To check the device manager, we can, as before, find it in the control panel. slightly quicker way is to right click on computer then from the drop down menu click on properties then device manager We can see here that we have only two items that are showing problems. If we check the properties of the Ethernet adapter, it reports that the driver has not been installed. Let's check the sound, video and game controllers category. This shows a driver called High Definition Audio Device has been installed. The properties show no problems and in fact report that this device is working properly. If we check on the taskbar, we have a speaker indicating that the sound has been enabled. That allows us to increase, decrease or even mute the sound. Here we have inserted the motherboard driver disk and it auto runs. Once again, we could just click on install or run program and it would install all the drivers. But instead, we shall open folder to view files. We can see here that there is a driver folder and if we open this, another folder called audio. If we continue through the audio folder, then driver folder, we can see two other folders called Vista and Vista 64. We are using Vista 32 bit so we shall select Vista folder and here we can find the driver files. Let's return to the device manager and update the audio drivers. Once again, we shall guide Windows to the correct folder. We click on Browse. We know they are on the D drive, so we can leave this. Click on the D drive so we can access the files and folders. Through the Drivers folder, then Audio, followed by Driver. Finally, Vista. Click on Next to complete the driver update. Windows is now checking the files and now installing them. After a short delay the drivers will have been updated. In some cases, as in this example, you may be prompted to restart the computer for the driver to take effect. When the computer restarts, we can manipulate to the device manager. Here we will find a new device driver. Once again, we should ensure that the driver is free from any symbols that indicate a problem or it has been disabled. Also on the taskbar, a new symbol has appeared. After we updated the driver software, the Audio HD Audio Manager was installed. Before we only had a slider that allowed us to increase or decrease the volume or mute it. Now we have much greater control over the sound that includes different environments, a loudness equalization, and we can apply different effects to the sound. 
Before we leave the Device Manager in Windows Vista, it should be pointed out that the symbol for disabling a driver was changed. We can see this if we disable the audio drivers. From a red cross in Windows XP to an arrow pointing downwards as shown here.